Hey everyone, Eric with 17 Shard here, and I'm here to talk to you about Cytonic, the third novel in the Skyward series. And this is my review of it. Do note that I am a mega Brandon Sanderson fan. So take this review for what you will. We do Brandon content all the time. So we're pretty predisposed to like Brandon stuff. This review is not going to contain spoilers for Cytonic itself, though we will talk about the ending of Starsight, which really uh, leads right into this novel. If you haven't read Starsight, then you should not be listening to this review. Now, I expect this book to be divisive. This book does what it does well, for the most part, but... If you had certain issues with Starsight, this book will not alleviate those issues, let's say. So at the end of Starsight, our protagonist, Spensa, hops into a mysterious nowhere portal and goes, well, well, not nowhere, but to the nowhere, which we know nothing about, and that is the setting for this novel. The setting and world building is probably the best part of this book. We get a lot of lore and mystery. We're delving into what it means to be a Cytonic. You know, that's what the title is. Uh, and we get a lot of that in Spade, and it's really very good, and we get some answers, and they're pretty fantastic. And I think the characters we have in Spencer and Embot get pretty good character arcs here, uh, and it's quite good in that respect. There is a world-building element that I didn't love, uh, that though it made perfect sense that it would be this way, kind of made the plot not seem very tense. And that's not really great, because Skyward, that novel, had so much tension every time we ever went into a spacecraft. There was just this tension that's like, oh, people can die. Oh no, what a, what's gonna happen? This book, for the most part, doesn't really have that. So if you really liked that in Skyward, you're not really gonna get that here. And really, kind of the main problem with the book is that we're going on another adventure to another totally different place. And the adventure is pretty good. Uh, no question, we're introduced to a bunch of new characters, very similarly to how Starsight did, and I don't know, J just because we had Skyward and we have a cast of characters, Starsight, cast of characters, and this book, another cast of characters, I kind of like these side characters maybe the least, because like, Really, are we going to see these characters again? Like, it's pretty clear that these main Skyward novels are basically the Spencer M. Bot show, which is perfectly fine, but that does mean I'm just not getting in as invested in these side characters. So that is somewhat of a problem, in my opinion, that I'm just like, eh, these new things, they're fine. Uh, I, they're perfectly enjoyable and likable people, but I'm just like, eh, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna see him again in the next book, so I'd not, I don't really care that much about him. Now, I had some pretty major issues with the end of Starsight. Uh, I really felt that everything was just a bit too convenient and easy at the end of that book, uh, and that really kind of killed the entire book for me. Uh, I, I'm a very ending a focused reader, and if the ending's not very good, I don't really like it very much. Uh, and I just had such a sour taste at the end of Starsight that I was almost worried that I wouldn't even like the rest of the series. I'm just like, ah, eh, whatever. I just felt deflated. Well, with Cytonic, I... I have it again, and I'm very invested in the series again. So good job on Brandon uh, kind of recovering from that kind of bad ending, in my opinion. It's fine if you liked it. So world, great. Characters, uh, Spence and Embot, great. Uh, other characters, I didn't really get invested in for the most part. Um, there, there are some exceptions to that. And then let's talk about the plot a bit, because the plot... I feel like this book will be divisive because Spencer going into the nowhere 
is very disconnected from the greater events that are occurring, really. And, well, you can sort of see it a bit as a side quest. And then later through, like, we, we spend quite a lot of, in the book about a, an, another side quest, really. So a side quest within a side quest. And I feel like some people aren't going to like that very much. Uh, I thought it was fine. Like, it was reasonably fast-paced. But you can kind of go through the plot and like, eh, I don't know how I'm invested in this. So I thought it was okay, but I do think that will be a really common critique of this book, that it does feel very side questy. So I, I think the plot is going to be the biggest problem that you might just feel like, why are we doing this? I mean, that was fine. Like, it, it's not like it's not well done. You just might not be super interested in that particular plot. Uh, cause it, it does kind of go in an area I didn't expect and then we're kind of there for a while. Okay, uh, it, it, it's okay. But fortunately, if you really missed the main characters in the first Skyward book and all those Skyward Flight characters, well, we didn't really get them a lot in Starsight and we're not getting a lot here. Uh, well, fortunately, this book is really bolstered by the Skyward Flight novellas. Those are by Brandon Sanderson uh, and collabed with Jancy Patterson. And I think they did a great job of fleshing out the universe, uh, which we don't really... Again, Spencer's doing her own thing here. Uh, and it is interesting, but uh, I, I did really like reading the novellas to kind of complement Spence's story. I think if you only read this, you... I, I, I do think something is kind of missing, and I do think you really should read the uh, Skyward Flight novellas. Uh, the first two, Sunreach and Redon, are already out, and the third one, Evershore, comes out next month, December 28th, I think. I, I think those do a really great job of sort of alleviating that pain point about the characters, uh, that you will see the characters that you really liked. Like, I really enjoyed the rest of Skyward Flight and their banter in the first Skyward novel. And so, I, like, Starsight also had the issue of like, yeah, I mean, these, these, these other characters are fun, but not really as fun as my original cast, so I don't care as much. And th this does it again. It's good to have the novellas to kind of uh, fix that problem. I don't know. Uh, maybe you don't like that it's shunted off into novella when it kind of is pretty important subject material, in my opinion. But I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see what people think. I do think you really do want to read those novellas, though. But again, like, the, pl the plot and, like, what happens, uh, like, the, the side quest within a side quest, I feel like people won't maybe like that as, as much. Fortunately, it is a really fast read, uh, and I did actually enjoy it. Uh, I kind of, like, enjoyed it uh, medium through, like, most of the book. And then the ending. Ending. Well, as I said before, I am an ending-focused reader, and the ending here was really good. I really enjoyed the end of this book, and I'm very excited for the fourth and final book, at least of the main series, which will be Defiant. There does seem to be hints that there will be more novellas after Evershore. Uh, that seems like how that's gonna go. And so I, I really, really, really liked the ending, and so I'm super into it. Uh, I'm, I'm just very excited to see what's gonna happen next. So yeah, Cytonic's kind of a weird book because, like, I enjoyed it fine through most of it, and then the end was really great, whereas Starsight, I really enjoyed it, until the very end, which killed it for me. So, hmm, it's hard for me to compare those two. I, I still think the first Skyward book is still by far the best of these three. Uh, I don't think it's even close. The lack of tension in most of Cytonic is... That, that is that is a problem, I think. Uh, and, and that does weaken the book for me, even though... Uh, the reason why there's less tension totally makes sense. I'm like, I think the book's still worse because of it. So I think this is all my spoiler-free reactions. It's really hard for me to get into details about what is good and what is bad because, like, all the nowhere stuff is a total mystery. And so eh, I, I don't want to say anything about that here. And so I, I'm worried this comes across as super vague. But we will be talking about this full spoilery 
in our Cytonic Reaction Shardcast, which won't be this weekend, but the weekend after. And I'm pretty excited to record that Shardcast. I think it will be more divisive than Star Sight because it might just feel a bit out of place. Um, but, th but the lore stuff is really good, and the character stuff we did get with Spence and Emba was pretty good for the most part. So, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm so interested to hear what you guys have to think. B because in, in Star Sight, you know, there were definitely people like, oh, I, I like the end of Star Sight. And then there were other people who, who felt similarly to me uh, there. So I'm very interested to see what you all think. And I'm interested to get a bunch of people into that Shardcast and see what they think as well. Because this is an interesting one. And all those like, hmm, it's an, it's an interesting book. Uh, which is maybe not a good thing. <laughs> you probably would rather me like, oh, the book's fantastic. For what this book does, it does do it well. I, I just think the flaws of the book are baked into the premise of the book. You might not like it. I don't know. And and really read the novellas, seriously. If you if you haven't read the novellas, they're only out in ebook and audio. They're really good. I really, really like them. And honestly, I think the Three of them together are better than this book, actually. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's a hot take, but it, it it's pretty clear in my mind that one was just more interesting uh, to me, even though what Cytonic does is good. And uh, there, there are some really cool things in Cytonic and really cool things you learn, and the ending is awesome. But I still think overall that maybe the three novellas probably surpass Cytonic for me. So that's about it. You can find us on 17shard.com for all the news discussion, theories, and fun that you could want. Leave a comment below what you thought of this book, because I am very interested to hear what you have to say. And uh, we will see you all next time.